and never too early to start doing like a revamp of yourself. So start now. You don't have to wait until January 1st. Just start now. Become the you that you want to be right now. Take a small step every single day to stay strong for you, for the future you, because you're going to thank you later. But keep going because there's one day I am going to get there. I don't know about her, I don't know about her, but I know I am going to do it. welcome and welcome back to my channel it is me carly marie and welcome to another video in today's video we are going to be talking about how to make the rest of this year your year as well as next year but how you don't have to wait till next year to start so if you guys want to hear what i have to say please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe before you go to join the candy crew the only thing i'm missing here is you but let's just get right into the video so I'm not sure about you guys, but 2023 was just not for me. Like she was not my year. It was, it just was not. Um, we were midway through and I was like, oh, that's okay. The, like the last half of the year is going to be for me, girl. No, it, it just never became for me. And that's okay. But how do we bounce back from that is where we begin. So you need to recognize why it was not your year. Were these things that you could have controlled? Were they things that you couldn't control? Or if it was your year? Why was it your year? Was it something that you did that made it so great? Something that someone else did that made it so great? Like, what was it? Now, here's your turning point. You have to figure out if you would like to keep going on the same path of what you were going or if you want to make a sort of pivot. For me personally, as I said, this year just did not work out for me. The things that I did did not work out for me. Circumstances I couldn't control did not work out for me. So I personally am going to make a pivot and we're going to see if we can gather it together. The next step is figuring out who do you want to be for this last month of the year and all of next year. Who is that person that you want to be like? If you could write down your ideal traits, your ideal, like the way that you can act, all that stuff. Who is that? And then how can you get to her? Also, just remembering that any small step that you take towards becoming a better you will eventually impact you in a big way, even if it's small right now. So, for instance, let's say uh, I want to start going to the gym. I'm lazy right now, so I'm going to go once a week. But just doing that once a week is kind of gearing me up to start going even more, like especially once like the new year comes in and all of that. So just like taking that initial step will definitely help you with that really big step later on. And then ultimately, that'll help you get to your bigger goal of like losing weight or whatever that goal is. Another thing that is super important, I believe, in just becoming the you that you want to be and like making those changes is do not become discouraged. It is so easy in this world to be discouraged when things aren't going your way or you thought something was going to happen and it, it just didn't happen for you. Don't be discouraged. That's the worst thing that can happen for you. There is a Bible verse that I like that I'll probably put up on the screen or something, but just, just don't be. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to pick yourself back up when things are tough and say, you know what? This didn't work out, but I'm going to keep going anyway. Like, don't, don't let your heart be sad about it. You know, it just... Something just wasn't for you, but it could be later. In my opinion, I feel like everyone should have some sort of like list going or like some sort of planner or something that you have that you can write like all the things you want to do down and like see those things on paper in front of you every day so you know what it is that you need to be working on. If you're just thinking these things in your head, they're still a thought. Let's put it down on paper. Let's like, let's get her going. Thinking of getting it down on paper, I have found that vision boards actually do help me a lot. I know a lot of people make them, but in case you guys haven't heard of them, a vision board is you just putting like your ideal life, your ideal self, things that you want to accomplish on a board, like with some pictures and stuff, and like that's going to be like the ideal life for you in the upcoming season of which you are planning. So I personally am going to start making that vision board now because I need it now. Like I know this just wasn't for me and I'm gonna make mine now. Another thing you can do is make it digitally. So I make mine on a literal poster board, but you can also make it like on Canva or something. Just save pictures from Pinterest and like digitally pin them onto like a board and like save that as your wallpaper or something so that you can see it every single day, those things that you want to accomplish and you'll take those steps every day to do those things. I believe you should do something to get yourself to your goal every single day. No matter how small it is, just do one thing so that you're not getting off track and you're not forgetting about yourself. 
I know, I trust me, I know how easy it is to just fall into like the pattern of life and kind of just like let yourself play the back burner, but we're not doing that. We're not doing that for the rest of this year and we're not doing that for next year. Like you have to prioritize yourself and prioritize what you want. I know it just seems so much easier just to keep going with the flow and stuff like that. But if you do, before you know it, you'll look up and it'll be years and years of you just going with the flow and you didn't change a thing. Please never let your circumstances get to you. I know how tough life can be. Like, trust me, I get it. But you can't, you just can't ball up in the corner and decide to give up because life got hard. You need to make it easier for yourself. And if you think about it, we're all just here literally doing the same thing. We're all just here trying to make it to the next step or trying to become who we want to be. So if you're looking at someone and they're on their step 10 of 20 and you're on your 2 of 20, like do not compare what you're going through to what they're going through. Because at one point they were on the chapter that you were on, but you just didn't see that. You missed that part. I'd also like to throw out there that comparison is the thief of all joy. If you think you're doing great right now, like you've got, like, say you want to be an influencer and you've got your little, like, 2,000 subscribers like Carly and you think you eating them up. And then someone else who also had the same amount of you now has 500,000. And you're just like, but like, I thought I was doing good. Like, what does she do? Like, that's crazy. But like, you cannot compare what you're going through to them. Because like I said, they probably were on the same stuff that you were on, but like years ago. Or also, it could just be their timing. If you're looking for a promotion or something, someone who just got there, they got the promotion, and you really wanted it, it just might not have been your time. God has a timing for all of us, and he protects us from what is not for us. Say you wanted that promotion, but girl, it was just a little bit of money. You want a lot of bit of money. And then you find another company who's going to give you that same position for a lot of bit of money. And then it'll be like, wow, I remember that time. I really wanted that stupid job, and you protected me from it. Or you're going to say, wow, I remember that time I was really sad about not having enough followers, but now, like, I've organically got them, and now they're all here, like, you know, like, you never know. Another tip for becoming the you that you want to be is have fun. I know this whole, like, rat race is, it's not fun, we're all just trying to make it to where we want to go, but have fun in the waiting. Um, I always like to say, for instance, like, when I was, I had my first department with my, um, now fiance, and, like, we were just, like, getting on our feet and stuff like that. I hated that time. I hated it so much. But now that I'm out of it, it's just, like, I actually kind of miss it. Like, you know, like, getting yourself to where you want to be, you need to enjoy every moment because you won't have those moments forever. You will, you know, eventually just level up, but make sure you're holding tight, um, you know, the people that you know getting to where you want to be and um, all those places that you use as stepping stones or situations and jobs because eventually you'll think back and say, hmm, like, the, that wasn't so bad. Another tip that you've probably heard time and time again, listen to me, never give up. You never know how far you're going to come. You never know how close you are to it. You could be knocking on the right door right now and it's going to open to everything that you wanted. You could be so close. If you give up, you will never get there. Like you could be almost there, but you gave up. You have to keep going. You have to stay strong for you, for the future you, because you're going to thank you later for keep pushing, like keeping going. Like you have to keep going, like no matter what. You could, like for instance, for me, <laughs> I have never given up on YouTube. I've been doing this for a smooth eight years and I've not grown very much, but I'm going to keep going because, because one day I am going to get there. And another thing is you have to believe. If you do not believe in what it is that you are doing, you are not going to get there. If you're chasing your dreams day in, day out, and day in and day out, and you're not believing in yourself, you're not gonna get anywhere because your mind is a super powerful thing. Also, the tongue is very powerful. Never say like, oh, I am never gonna get there. Girl, yes you are. Only speak positivity on yourself and on your life and the people that you love. Like, girl, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> I don't know about her, I don't know about her, but I know I am going to do it. Hey guys, I've given so many points and I don't even know what the last one that I said was, but at the end of the day, just make sure that you are focusing on you. It's never too early to start doing like a revamp of yourself, so start now. You don't have to wait until January 1st. Just start now. Become the you that you want to be right now. Take a small step every single day. Have fun. Don't give up. One day you're going to look back at this and say, 
I really made it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe before you go to join the candy crew. That's the only thing I'm going to say here is you. I love you guys so much. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye, guys.